All right, welcome back. Today I'm showing you how to make perfect creamy scrambled eggs. I am an egg connoisseur. So what I do is I preheat my stove and my pan on medium high heat, and then I'm gonna go ahead and crack four eggs. Once I've got those eggs added, I'm gonna add one tablespoon per egg. So I'm doing four eggs, so four tablespoons. And then I'm going to give that a whisk just with a fork. You can use a whisk if you'd like, but for four eggs, I just use a fork. And once I've got those whisked really well, I'm going to add these to my pan that I have been preheating. And I'm also gonna add two tablespoons of cream cheese. So a tablespoon per two eggs. And I'm gonna start slowly and gently stirring the cream cheese and egg mixture. And I'm gonna break this cream cheese into small pieces. If you wanna do that ahead of time, you can. I generally don't. And once I have the pieces broken down into smaller pieces, say maybe a table, or excuse me, a teaspoon size, I'm going to stir it for about 30 seconds and then I'm going to let it sit for about 30 seconds. And I'm going to repeat that until the eggs are nice and creamy and finished. And I, they look a little bit underdone, but they are completely cooked because I will not eat undercooked eggs. But anyhow, this cook it fairly low. My stove, I do medium high heat. That seems to work best. I can do it on medium, never cook them on high and be very gentle folding the eggs over nice and easily. And also, the key to a fluffy egg, per my grandma, who was an amazing cook, is to add water instead of milk. I do milk when I do French toast, but when I do scrum, these are done. I'm gonna divide them down. Half go to myself, half go to my dog. And I will add some cherub grape tomatoes, which are my new favorite thing in the world to eat as of lately, along with either toast, fried potatoes instead of bread. But that's it. This is quick, it's easy, and it's really incredibly good. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed this short video showing you hope you enjoyed this short video showing you how I make my scrambled eggs I eat eggs probably three or four times a week and when I do I make four eggs two for me two for Bella because she likes eggs and so that's the only thing I really feed her a complete meal off the table I may give her bits and pieces of something else but eggs are good for dogs so I don't feel bad plus she's almost 13 years old and well you know live your best life now I eat my eggs every morning. I eat them with Cholua, which is this hot sauce here. So this is what they look like. They're nice and soft and fluffy. They've got a little bit of cream cheese in them. I cook mine just a little bit under. They're completely cooked, but they're so soft. I'm weird about eggs. And that's my Cholua that I put on there. That's so good. I won't eat scrambled eggs if they're overcooked, if they're hard. There is a secret to making good scrambled eggs and I think I found it. I also won't eat eggs in a restaurant if they scramble them because they overcook them. I'll eat them over medium because I like my yolk runny but my whites cooked. And also if like I go to McDonald's or someplace like that that has breakfast, I never get something with an egg on it because I don't like fast food eggs. They're gross to me, they taste like rubber. Personal thing, I just, I can't do it. I'll always get like a sausage biscuit sausage McMuffin or I love the McGriddles which I haven't had one of those in forever but anyhow I think that's about it eggs aren't overly exciting I do love them though because even when I was really incredibly sick when I first um, got sick with my disease I couldn't eat anything I had no appetite I couldn't hold any food down but I could eat eggs and so I ate eggs and I ate eggs a lot because that was about the only thing I could tolerate um, also, when I was pregnant with my daughter, I craved eggs like a mad woman. Unfortunately, with her, they did not stay down. 
and I'll leave it at that. But I still love eggs, and there's other things that I ate when I was pregnant with her that I couldn't hold down that I won't touch now. So go figure. Um, do you guys eat breakfast every day? I eat breakfast just about every day. Sometimes on Saturdays I may skip it. It just kind of depends on how late I sleep. Sundays I usually make a brunch for us, so it's not really a breakfast per se, but yeah, I love breakfast food so. so let me know in the comments down below your favorite way to eat eggs also and let me know if you want to see anything in particular me make especially something simple like this it can be simple but it can also be difficult for people i don't fault anyone for that i can't make macaroni and cheese with powdered cheese i can't hardly make jello and i burn hamburgers so go figure all right well i think that's about it for now i hope you guys have a great day don't forget not every day is good but there's always something good in every day and i'll see you guys next time gonna try her eggs are they good? She's weird. She doesn't want to eat till I'm done eating. But I fix her on the plate every morning. Well, every morning I have scrambled eggs. If I have oatmeal or something like that, I don't fix her anything. Are those good? If Bella had thumbs, she'd give this two thumbs up.